and Stu are on the air. Ready? Ready? Whether you're fading with Drew or riding with Cam, this is the place to get your weekly NFL picks. Everything you got, let's go. Hello and welcome to the Drew and Stu podcast. This is the 2024 Masters Preview. I'm Drew Livingstone. That's Cam Stewart. Cam is off to New York, so we're filming early on a Sunday. This will release on Monday, so if our guys don't win the Valero Texas Open, like they're probably not going to, even though I got three guys in the top ten, I think you do as well, Cam. Uh, but they're just so far behind. Drew, my pick was Ashke Batea. He's leading the tournament. Oh, then you're happy. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, you're loving life right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But this is the story. Hey, everybody, here's Cam Stewart's life. <laughs> I might win a golf tournament. Sink broken. Toilet. Mm. Valves. Cam, here's your $1,500 if Ashke Batea wins. And Plumber, here's your $1,200. Saw me off three. And knock, on, knock on wood, because I don't like... Uh talking about no 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 no. i'm just no i said if if oh dude i'm not that guy okay okay, and if tim andercust comes out and says this is a lock or something like that and he loses i will (laughs) fly to halifax on my dime and honestly i i love the man but i'm gonna have to like i don't want to like hit him or anything like that but i'm gonna put him in a bad situation let's put it that way (laughs) uh well good for you having batia because uh yeah i have three other guys uh the norn top 10 looks good right now hopefully he yep. hangs on because that's uh pretty much the only one i'm gonna hit uh aberg i have top five but i don't know if he's gonna be able to get in there uh matsuyama looked good cam he looks good rolling into the masters so uh we'll get right into the masters cam mm-hmm. um we can, start, we can start off with tiger woods uh one of the first props with tiger playing is will he or won't he shoot over 72 and a half in his opening round he broke his record last year, Cam, shooting a 74 in his first round, the highest first round since 2005 for Tiger. 72 and a half, that's even par. Can Tiger shoot even par in the first round? Yes, he can. I actually think Tiger Woods, the thing about him that people kind of don't, you got to see the full picture. He doesn't play in any events, right? Mm-hmm. On, only the tournaments he hosts or whatever. What do you think he does in that time? Everything he does is geared towards the Masters. Mm -hmm. All the shots he needs to hit. He can play this course blindfolded. And people, I'm not just talking out of my ass. I've I've walked this course four times. I covered it for the score and global. I know every little nook and cranny of this course. It's amazing. A lot of side hill lies. That's what I'm worried about, though. Yep. Tiger needs to keep it in play, Drew, because he's got a lot of... Na- he, how many... He has, like, the bionic man. He's got so much metal in his body. If this guy has, like pine straw near a tree or a crazy (laughs) saw you know what i mean or like even twists an ankle that's the issue he's got to hit fairways but that's why it's good that it's a first round bet you're not betting on four rounds of tiger because like by round four he might withdraw this is just first round can he finish even par better yes um and yeah it's it's plus 130 for under 72 and a half it's minus 105 for over so that he's favored to go over 72 and a half i'm thinking the same thing cam i think he can shoot a 72 i don't think that's crazy he'll shoot probably 71 72 would be right on the number that's what I'm thinking. All right. I like it then. But so you don't like him to win outright then? <laughs> uh, no. But I will do this. What's Tiger Woods to make the cut? Uh, minus 105. Sold. I think he's going to play well in the first two days. And then when he has a matchup bet in round three or four, you and he's not in him. contention, I am going to hammer. I don't care if it, like, it's anybody. Well, it and you be know. Friggin- Nick Dunlop for all I care. You know, if he's you know? like T56, he might just withdraw regardless because he's going to be like, ah, I don't even want to like ruin my body to play the last two rounds with no chance at winning. Like he doesn't need the money to finish 40th place at the Masters. Like what's that, 10 grand? Like he doesn't give That's a shit. That's such a good point, Drew. And you know, uh, Dave Bastel, who we've done videos with in the past and stuff, we did a Masters uh, stuff on Friday and he bet that on a rate. Tiger Woods to withdraw. Yeah. That was like a bet that they, I think it was plus 110. I think it was plus 110. What do you got? Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't have the withdrawals here. I can find okay. them. Um, but yeah, I, I, a, I think he can easily, his matchup odds round three camp, whoever it is, uh, unless withdraw cancels the, the bet, which I don't like, like if the guy withdraws and I have the guy against him, I should win that bet. Um, no, but the minute you hit a ball, so say he, say he makes the cut. Yeah, yeah, if, and... But if he withdraws before the round, which he might, then you don't, you don't win the bet. You know, yes, you, yes. If he hits one shot in the, that's what I'm saying. But if he withdraws yeah. before oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. round, sorry, you're saying if it's, <laughs> Yes, if he if he withdraws before the tournament starts and doesn't no, the hit round. The ball. I'm saying yes. if you have a round three bet like head to head, and he doesn't tee off in round three because he withdraws, you can. Yes, you're, you're right. The, I, the bet's void. I need him to hit one shot. Oh my back! And then uh, trust me, it happened with Henrik Stenson one time. I had him in a matchup bet. Oh, he had pulled something on the tee. I'm like, thanks, pal. It's yeah. cost me 500 bucks. But anyway, I think you no, know Drew. Another thing is 
I think that's a very real possibility because if he's so far back and whatever, he also doesn't want to embarrass himself. If, like, yep. say he starts bogey, bogey, bogey. You know, he might just say, he's got so many injuries, no one's going to call him out on it. Just say, you know what? I don't feel right. I'm out of here. I know he's a grinder and he wants to play, but that's it's an interesting bet. Yeah, it's just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Cam. All right, well, let's look at your, I know you love the top continental finishers. And when you look at top yeah. European, top Canadian, top Asian, um, so let's go, let's get into that. Let's look at the right now. Let's start with the top American player. Mm-hmm. Scotty Scheffler's plus 260. Can you bet against this guy, Cam? Yes, I Ooh. can. Uh, I know he's, it's probably stupid, but plus 260. Um, I, it's just that he, he's awesome. I'm not going to take anything away from him. He's, <laughs> won, he's, he's won a green jacket. But I found, remember, there's live guys back. Mm-hmm. Kepka's 10. Uh, who else is there? We got a couple other guys. Shambo, DJ. I, yeah, well, the DeChambeau actually plays horribly at this course. Uh, yeah. Noah's actually playing well is um, Gooch, the, uh, the bully from the different strokes. He's in contention this week and live. Uh, this is what I'm going to do with Top American, Drew. I got two guys for you. You ready? Yep. Shoffley at nine, can't lay at 16. That's my card. <sighs> Shoffley just always lets me down, Cam. Every time I bet. No, but the thing is, is, he's almost won the Masters twice. The problem I know. is. He looked at the leaderboard and put it in the wall. I know, like just, I know. Just don't like. I know you have to. You have to look and see where you stand, but he, don't do it till you really got to do it. But you know what? He can be top American still. Yeah. Say, say uh, John Rom wins the Masters yeah. and he comes second. I, I that bet's good at nine to one, man. <sighs> I can I like. I think my favorite top American bet besides Scheffler would be Jordan Spieth. I think he's feeling like, rolling here, and he I loves. He choice. he owns Augusta. Cam, we've seen it in the past. He should have won three straight uh, if he didn't put it in the water and screw that. Uh, was it sixteen? No, it was eight. Hole eight when he put three yeah. straight in the water. I forget what hole that was. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was the best. Uh, actually, Drew, there's a story behind that. Me, Pat Mayo, and Jeff Feinberg won like five grand to each. They might have won more because we had Danny Willett. I did like too. 90 we all had Willett. Yeah, you Every, did too. Everyone yeah. in the office we had all, Willett that that's weekend. Right. We had, that's right. We did the fantasy sports office Willett all-in pick. When I saw Speed put balls in the water, I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, this yeah. could be a great – that's the only time I've had like really, really good luck. Drew, I have one question for you. Mm-hmm. Zalatoris, how do you feel about him at 16? He's my he, wild card. He's healthy. He's feeling it. Uh, 16, I don't know if that's long enough odds for me. I think I'd like it if it was like 25. Like 16 seems like a sucker bet. Okay. Like I'd rather take okay. DJ at 20 to 1. You're going to be Dustin Johnson at 20 to 1. Like mm-hmm. You're telling me this guy can't just turn it on for a tournament cam? It's Dustin Johnson. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, so those are my Americans, and I like your speed pick too. And at these odds, we could probably pick three. Let's hit European. All right, let's go European side. We got Rory is the favorite at plus three thirty. John Rom plus three sixty. Your boy Aberg at seven to one. Fitzpatrick at eleven to one, which I like. Uh, and Tommy Fleetwood, Mister, lets us down in the final round, uh, twelve to one. Uh, and rounding up, Cam guy I'm looking at right now, Sepp Straka, thirty five to one. Great pick. Am I crazy? Sepp Straka, you know, see, he, he always asks me that on the show, Drew. You're the farthest thing from crazy. It's actually <laughs> a very, very smart play. Where did Sepp Straka go to school? Georgia. Mm-hmm. Probably played Augusta a lot. Uh, I don't know exactly how many rounds, but I think at 35 to 1, Sepp Straka would be my third choice European. I'm going to give you two guys right now, and I'm not taking McElroy. I'm not taking Rom. I mm-hmm. love Aberg, but, you know, he's a younger guy. He'll figure it out down the line. I'm not taking Hovland. I'm taking Matthew Fitzpatrick at 11 and Ty Hatton at 14 and a Ooh. sprinkle on Strack at 35. Ty Hatton, I feel like, could kick the shit out of all these guys. He's so – he's like a big – he's a big guy. Ty uh, Hatton, for people that don't know, he's not even playing great golf. I think he's like fourth in the live tournament, Drew, because we're taping this before the final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he brings his A game to Augusta, he could be putting on the green jacket. I think he's a sneaky play. Uh, yeah, I don't know him and him and Fleetwood both in the same boat as for me. Like, uh, Fleetwood's guys. a gagger though. He gags more than, than yeah. Hatton does. Hatton, um, what, like in Europe, he's pretty strong. Think about Hatton is he is more of a grinder. I know he's a psychopath, but Tommy Fleetwood will just let you down. Like I, I, I to me, he's almost unbettable. And if he, and if he wins a tournament, he wins a tournament. Nice guy though. But yeah, I'm not there. Uh, yeah, I agree with you, Cam. I think if you're going to bet Fleetwood as the top European, you just bet him to win the tournament because, like, that's yeah. you might as well bet us outright to be better odds. Um, okay, we go just straight to Great Britain in the Ireland, Cam. There's not too many guys. Roy McIlroy plus 150. I think he's the easy pick here, or, or your boy Hatton at plus 650. No. I think this is a weird bet to make. I'd rather just go top European. No, I agree, but and, and I, I might, yeah, because I got fit. You know what? Maybe Fitzpatrick at this one at five and Hatton again at plus six fifty. I'm not touching. People uh, might take Shane Lowry. I don't want Danny Willett. Uh, 
I like Hatton and Fitzpatrick again, and these are still great prices, five to one and and less guys to beat. Yeah, um, less guys to beat. All right, top Canadian for our Canadian fans for us, Scam. Uh, Corey Connors plus one ten, Nick Taylor plus two forty, Adam Hadwin plus two sixty, and your boy Mike Weir eighteen to one. The fact that this isn't a hundred and eighty to one for Mike Weir is ridiculous. Like eighteen to one, you, you are you kidding me? Like there's yeah, actually... pl- no, he's not doing like the guy plays well at Augusta, but here's the deal. Corey Connors, the tournament he played this week in Texas, he's won mm-hmm. twice. Have you seen Corey Connors' last four appearances at the Masters? All like two of the four top ten. Yep. Connors to me is a a must bet, and I actually I would lay minus one twenty one thirty with him. We're getting plus one ten sold. Yep, I agree with you, Cam. Uh, moving on to a top Asian golfer, it's got Matsuyama, Siwoo Kim, Sung Jae Im, <clears throat> Tom Kim, uh, Byung Hung An, and Roy Hitsuni. I don't know. I don't know. How Roy Hitsuni. Hitsuni. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, uh, I, I probably said it wrong too. I actually bet this guy a lot. Know who I'm taking here, Drew? And Hideki's my friend. It's probably the smarter bet. Uh, Sun Jae Im, I've been looking at his master's records consistently in the top 10 and 20. So is Matsuyama, he, though. Matsuyama he won't strong. win. But I'm saying I get 5-1 to one on him. Fair, I'm fair, taking a fair. shot with old Sun Jae. The problem with him is his putter reeks. But he's one of the best ball strikers in the world. Give me Sun Jae Im. Five to one. Uh, I like a little Tom Kim action here as well, Cam. Uh, if I'm not going to go with Matsuyama, give me Tom Kim six to one. Uh, he's playing pretty well. Uh, all right, rest of the world, which is my favorite area to go. So this is just anyone okay. not in America or the main European. Um, Matsuyama plus three sixty, I think, is the easy bet here. Uh, maybe Adam Scott actually at eighteen to one. If he's feeling it, Adam Scott knows this course really well. Um, what do you think about this, this? The rest of the world bets Cam. Actually, did we miss uh, Continental European? Yes, yes. I skipped it over. We're going to save that one for next one. Oh, okay. But don't we usually go in order? Yeah, whatever. Just go rest of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm driving the bus, Kay. You're just riding. You know what? And I like being in a passenger. I'm not really in the mood to drive the bus today. I got a lot of shit going on in my life, and it's all negative and costing me money. (laughs) Give me Joaquin Neiman plus 550. That's who I want. Joaquin Uh, Neiman. And if you want a real pooch... A real pooch. Charles Schwartzel at 55 to 1. This guy is amazing at the Masters. Amazing. That's my bomb. Schwartzel 55. And give me some Joaquin Neiman. I thought you were going to go with your guys. I thought you were going to go with your boy Corey Connors at 12 to 1. That's still not a bad price for the rest of the world. No, um, I'd rather take him at Canadian and only deal with a few guys. He's got to beat Minwoo Lee, Siwoo Kim, Jason Day, Cam Smith. Neiman and Matsuyama. It's a, you're right, though, Drew. Uh, if you look at it from a value perspective, it's good. But just g- g- give me Neiman at five plus five fifty, and my big big dart, Charles. My teeth are so sharp. I win corn eating contest. Schwartzel. Uh, there, know what we should do? A, a, a contest between Schwartzel and Charles Hal. Sharper teeth and longer teeth. <laughs> Why do you think they have sharp teeth? Have you seen Have you seen Charles Schwartzel's like he's got razor blades in there? He should be sponsored by Gillette. <laughs> he's just giving people face shaves by biting their chin. It's just, no, dude. I, have you seen like like when he smiles? Take a look at his teeth. They're 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 weapons. I haven't looked at how sharp they are. No, <laughs> no, no, no. They're long too. Like I'm just saying, he'd win a corn on the cob eating contest, and if he bites you, you're in big trouble. Hey, Matt Fitzpatrick, Next. I think could do pretty well at the corn eating cob. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Put Fitzpatrick there, but he's got braces now. He used Ooh, to remember yeah, they were really bad. He, yeah, yeah. I, he, I know he from experience. To, <laughs> I used to do the best. Hey, I got braces. Let's let let's try like a, a Cadbury Crunchy bar. <laughs> there goes the brackets. Yeah, yeah. See, they're, they're the just... honest to God, like I, those orthodontists hated me. And another thing, Drew, they used to give me the paste for the mold. I told oh. this lady, I, I go, listen. I go, no, I, I was very serious. I go, I don't want to be a jerk. I have a gag reflex. Dude, I would gag all the time. And they're like, oh, just hold it in there. It's only 30 seconds. Look at only 30 seconds. I'm like, what? I used to be able to get my tongue to my eyes. And I'm older now. My teeth hurt. But I, I could get my tongue like up there. So I told the lady, less paste. I go, I'm going to throw up. She's like, no, nah, you're not. I go, Bleh! like right there. Yeah, right there. I go, I warned you. You gave me too much of that putty. Less putty. Why are you filling up the whole bowl? It's Dude, only for like a retainer. They put so much and then it goes down oh, your throat when it's sitting in your mouth. You're like, why Why is this in my throat? Like, just take it did out. I, did, did I just say that, Drew? Yeah. I have I a gag reflex. It went in my throat and I threw up all over the place. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So what I happens? Know. Did they make you clean it up? No, they cleaned it up. I war- You know what? If I didn't warn them, I actually would have cleaned it up. But the fact that I said, I'm going to puke, don't put the, the the plaster in there. And you know what they did? Nah, 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 all cocky and confident, overfilled it. And I, well, 
Yeah, but I did it in the bowl. It only splashed out a bit. You know what? Oh, okay. So you were a nice guy. What? See, if you were a dick, you would have been like, I told you, bam, I wanted, all actually, over the floor. Actually, I wanted to puke on her for being rude to me. But let's just keep on betting golf. Anyway, if you go to the <laughs> okay. orthodontist, tell them less, less uh, putty in the retainer. Yeah, I still have the wire behind my teeth, and it pisses me all the time, cuts my tongue. I'm going to get the dentist to just cut it off. I'm sick of it. I'm too yeah. old now for this shit. I'm with you, buddy. Um, all right, Continental European, the Masters, 2024. John Rahm leading the way, plus 180. Aberg, plus 360. Hovland, plus 400. Uh, my guy, Sepp Straka, who I'll be having an outright on. I'm going to have so many bets on Sepp Straka, stupidly, uh, Cam, but uh, we'll see how he does. Um, I like him at 16-1 to 1 as a top European. You know what? I like that, too. And I'm going to bet another guy. I like Steven Yeager, but debutants like i don't know how like he's hasn't played augusta enough mm-hmm. torbjorn olison snakes on a plane remember <laughs> he whipped it out on the plane and pissed everywhere but anyway i, I should stop telling that story because i actually like the guy uh, i'm taking olison at 18 that's no, funny i'm taking olison at 18 and your boy strack at 16 are you noticing something we're avoiding rom aberg hovland and Gar- uh, garcia's leading this week though on the live tour that's kind of yeah. scary I, I don't believe in Garcia. I don't think he's he's another guy that just chokes. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't believe in Sergio to ever win again. Uh, to be honest, on the any, on any majors, that's for sure. Um, all right, Cam, oh, let's I, go. I just got a text from Marenzi. He goes, "Happy birthday! I bought you three tickets to the Islanders Habs game." Hell yeah! That's like that's. I feel like crying right now. That's a really nice gesture. That's amazing. Oh. I don't even know what I'm going to say. This is so nice. Anyway, I'm going to have to text him after the show. Okay. Uh, what, what do we got going on All right, now? so we're going to give our outrights, Cam. Uh, we just got a six-pack uh, outrights who are going to be betting. I can, I can start are with Are we three. doing Oceana? Do you want to do Nordic? Oceana? Nah, these, they're all the same guys. North American, that's the same. No, yeah. we're done. I yeah. don't need Oceana. We're, we're there. Yeah, yeah. So let's go outright, Cam. Uh, I'll give you three, my first three uh, outright bets, my shorter odd guys. I'm going with Spieth, 22 to 1, Matsuyama, 25 to 1, and Dustin Johnson at 35 to 1 because you're never going to get DJ at this price again in your life. I don't care how he's struggling lately. It's still Dustin goddamn Johnson, Cam, 35 to you're 1. You're taking him to win? Yep. He's one of my th- <laughs> he's three of my six. I'm going to tell you something, Drew. This is the thing I like about betting bet, betting Dustin Johnson. You'll know early. Oh, yeah. If he's like four under, five under, and he goes, you know what? I'm going to lay off the party and just like get get it together for four days. If he shoots like five over, he's good as gone. He'll be he'll be falling downstairs. He'll be doing whatever the hell he's doing. Did with you see how he uh, said he pulled his back? It was pretty yeah. funny. And they're like, uh, yeah. "How'd you pull your back?" He's like, "Oh, was it lifting your child?" He's like, "Oh, it was a type of child." And he laughs at the camera. So he's just having sex with his wife. Just pulls yeah, his back. Yeah. Is- oh yeah, him and Paulina must. I don't even want to know what they do in bed. <laughs> I can tell you one thing: safe words. Next topic. <laughs> um, okay, Cam, give us three of your six. <laughs> Dangles, gonna, what the hell's going on? Hey, you want us to blow it up and have fun? That's what we're doing here. We're yes. having fun. We don't. We. I'm so sick and tired of watching sports shows that feel like a funeral. Yeah. Masters outrights. Uh, where can I find outrights? I can give you the rest of my six, Cam. While well, waiting for you, if you want. Yeah. I, I, am I stupid? I might be. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Give me, give me your six. All right, I, so I got go my my next three. Cam Morikawa at forty to one. I think he's uh he's got what it takes to win here. Uh, Siwoo Kim, my guy, at sixty five to one, and Phil Mickelson, lefty, one hundred and thirty to one. I know he's old. I know people hate him, but he owns this course. Cam lefty loves Augusta, one hundred and thirty to one. Is he going to win? Maybe, maybe not. But even if he's even if he's in contention, Cam, I can hedge out of this at one hundred and thirty to one. I like your actually, Drew. It's not stupid at all. The thing about the Masters that people really need to understand, like, when you're a fan of golf, you know every hole, everything. It's, it's I just love it because it's like the same story, but just a different winner every year. And you know, oh, he's in trouble there. He can get out of that danger because we've watched it for, yep. for so many years, right? And Phil Mickelson knows this course inside out, too. Him and Tiger, they can play it blindfolded, as I said. Mm-hmm. I like your pick. So get, run those by me again. I'm going to. So got Phil, show. Phil, Siwoo yep. Kim, Morikawa uh matsuyama jordan spieth and dustin johnson i like your picks drew a lot well that's good i'm gonna take xander shoffley and probably put a bullet in my head when he's leading on the 17th hole <laughs> round four and puts two in the water uh what are sorry 16 i meant patrick cantley uh mm. i found a 35 i know he's 30 on most places on one of my books he's 35 and i'm gonna take that price uh next up on the list what are we gonna do with you know what i'm gonna take brian Harmon at 55 to 1 
Nice. This is this He's is the king of playing well and never fin- never winning though. I know. Um, he won the Open Championship, Drew. Yeah, I don't care for the British Open. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't on North American soil. Doesn't count. Oh God! Well, why? Why today, Drew? Okay, just give me Brian Harmon. <laughs> How many lefties? Are you ready for lefties? Yeah. Mike Weir, Phil Mickelson, and your favorite guy, me, 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 me. Bubba. Who's the guy? Bubba. Yeah. Three lefties have won here, so you know <laughs> what? There we go. So what do I got? Three right there. So I got uh, Shafale, Cantale, Harmon. Go with your boy uh, Zalatoris, 35. I almost want to, but I need a bigger <clears throat> bomb. I, I, there's got to be somebody in here that I can just. Uh... Know what? I'm actually going to bet Nick Dunlop. And no, I know Denny debutants don't win. Do you like 200 to one? I do. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I told you all that I'm be betting on Sepp Straka. He's just not in my six pack, but I will have an outright on him. So I do like those big long odds, guys. Cam. Okay, so you know what? I'm not. I got to put my money where my mouth is. So can't lay. Damn, I want to take Dustin Johnson too. I can't. Fitzpatrick. I'm gonna take Fitzpatrick. Shoffle. I got. There's another guy here that I was looking at. Hatton. Fifty five. Corey Connors. So, Sixty five. Your guy. No, the problem with Corey Connors is he might He's finish not like win. top five. Yeah. I just if he if he needs a putt on eighteen, I just can't deal with him. So Shoffle, but. Anyway, if Shoffley can win this tournament, if he you know what he does, Drew, I know the exact way he'll win this tournament. If he posts a number early and sits yes. around. Like he if he's in the third be, last group. He can't yeah, be yeah, leading, yeah. getting the shakes with four holes to go. So Shoffley, 18. Cantlay, 35. Fitzpatrick, 40. Hatton, 55. Harmon, 55. And my big, big bomb. I actually like that Straka pick at 152, but I'm going to take a crazy pick with uh, Nick Dunlop, who's playing great golf this year. 200 to 1. Ooh, I do like it, Cam. Um, so no, no, no love. Tiger Woods, hundred to one, not worth the bet. No. Nope. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Harmon, I, I can see Harmon's good price, Cam, fifty five. What about Justin Thomas at thirty five to one? He's never been that price, but he's not playing good golf. He doesn't. That's he doesn't problem. play well here either, Cam. Like it's just yeah. Jason Day's dangerous at fifty five. He does have a good track record at Augusta. Um, okay, Cam, I'll give you my. I'll show you this. Let me know what you think about this bet. So I got Matsuyama top five. Parlayed with Jordan Spieth top ten, parlayed with Dustin Johnson top twenty, pays thirty five to one. Okay. First of all, Drew, I love it, but can you just do one thing for me? Yeah. Put Matt Siam a top ten instead of top five and see what it pays. But then it'll be way worse. Finishes six. It'll what? be way worse. It'll. It's. Don't. You, uh, it'll be fine. All right. Let's see. Go top ten and keep your other two. The top twenty, whatever. It's gonna pay. Imagine he finishes. Oh, so like no, it doesn't allow you. Seven? So you need it to, so the way this DraftKings probably works, you need a top five, a top ten, and a top twenty. You oh, can't okay. do three top tens. Um, Why do you put Scotty Scheffler top five? That's almost a lock. No, it's no, it's Cam. The lock word. I'm taking Scotty Scheffler to miss the cut now because you said that. <laughs> Dude, if Scotty Scheffler misses the cut, I'm gonna be a very happy guy because I'm actually gonna fade him in a couple matchup bets, which is totally insane. Okay, so I'll show you where to go here on DraftKings Cam. Go to top finish, including ties in the brackets on your computer. And I want you to pick a top five guy, a top ten guy, and a top twenty guy. We'll do this parlay live. Okay, so we need we need top five. So go to top, top finish beside tournament yeah. lines. Tournament lines. Top finish, including ties. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So now you pick one of them for top five, one of them for top 10, and one of them for top 20, and it's going to tell you your parlay price on the right. So I got Matsuyama, Spieth, and DJ. I want you to pick three live guys on the show. Shoffley. Okay. Top 10. Okay, so you need a top five guy. Cantley. This parlay is going to be huge. You're going Cantley top five? Uh, no, top 10. I'm going, he's told, I told you, Shoffley 5. Oh, Shoffley 5, gotcha. Can't top, lay top 10. 10, can't lay. And now I got to find a 20, right? Yep. Oh, God. Am I going to bet the 20? I'm having more problems with the 20 than the other ones. Fitzpatrick. Ooh. So what does this pay? 29 to 1. Sold. Cam, live on the show. You got to do it now. It's just... Uh... Yeah, if I don't do it and it comes in, what do you, th- what do you think I'm going to do? Go nuts. <laughs> The minute I, I remember one week when we're me and you were working at Fantasy Sports, I got off Thorbjorn Olison for like for some reason. I had like financial problems or I think it was a mortgage payment. I had to do some stuff. Yeah, fair. He Life won at 250 good. to one. Drew, I didn't forgive myself for like honestly till today. Like yeah. I still think about it. And that was years ago. Because I usually I usually put like 30 or 40 bucks. Think about that. 250, 140 bucks. That that's life changing. Like that's a, that's a trip. That's payments. That's 
That's new appliances. That's, Damn, that's party 10 grand. time. That's 10 grand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 10 grand would be a real nice touch right now. Well, that does it for our mass for you, Cam. Let's get into our quickly before you head out. I know you got to get to the airport. Cam's going to New York, going to the Habs Islanders game. It's going to be a big fun time. You're also going to the I Devil. can't believe Mar- I, I, I just Marenzi is just like, this is man, this guy's fly. Oh, I know Max Verstappen won an F1. He probably parlayed uh, him with you with all the UConn going to yeah, the final yeah, fours. Yeah. I think he hit, you know what? I think Marenzi has got like five grand in his pocket and he's springing a little on me. But you know what? Very nice. Yes. Who does that for somebody? That's, like nobody's bought me leave tickets before. That's long time friends cam. That's what happens. Uh, all right, let's quickly get into it. UConn, Purdue, UConn yep. currently six and a half point favorites in the Monday night final. Purdue cam screwed me on my bracket. If they lost NC State, it would have won the bracket pool. They won. Everyone else who had Purdue's like above Drew. Yep. Um, it didn't help me. Uh, UConn, you think they can cover six and a half and repeat as champs? This is interesting. I have UConn to win the championship, Drew. Mm-hmm. At 14 to 1 when they lost a game against like a horrible team in the Big East. So I got the best number I could get. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. So you're hedging out. I'm not hedging out. I'm going to take Purdue by a half. I'm going to get it Purdue plus seven. Mm. And if NC and if uh, Connecticut wins the game, I win. You're going middle. Bets. You want to yeah, middle. But I'm not going to put whatever the future pays on Connecticut. Say it pays 1500. I'm going to put like five, 500 on Purdue at that thing or 600 and try to win over two dimes. You get my drift? Yeah, yeah. You're going to try and middle the game. Connect, the other way, UConn wins by six. So you're a happy guy. You win both sides. You're damn right I am. Actually, I'm going to buy it up to – I'll buy a half point to seven. I like nice even numbers. Yeah, fair enough. So you think uh, UConn wins, but you think Purdue covers? Yep, I do. Right. Zach Eady's day, like Purdue, they're just – I know what I, I hate to say this, Drew, and me and you are like I've kind of – I feel bad for doing this to you. I've kind of got you on like the – too much money on one side thing. And I do it too much sometimes, but you know what? I'm going to tell you, <laughs> think about it. How many people are betting Purdue and compared to you? Zero. Man? Zero people are betting Purdue cam. It's kind of my point. <sighs> I, I can't find you in the screen. What button do I hit? I don't know. No, you're fine. You can see me. I can see you. You can see me. It's all good. Uh, really? It doesn't matter if you can see me. We're good. I can't see you anymore. Okay. <laughs> it's good. You're too excited over those Habs tickets. You del- you turned off my camera. <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, Cam, yeah, I like Purdue plus six and a half as well. I think UConn could win this. You know what? I'm going to sprinkle on Purdue outright too because like, it's hard for teams to go back-to-back national championships, Cam. I know it doesn't matter. The best team is. It's a one-game thing. Anything can happen. Um, like Purdue could win this game, right? They can. It's going to be very difficult. But the one thing is too, think about this. Purdue have been known as it's a complete opposite in, in everything. UConn is a team when they're not even ranked who's won the tournament before. Purdue is always this perennial favorite, and they always get knocked out early in the tournament. This is a chance to change the reputation of their school. Mm-hmm. And if these guys all like bring bring it, like I mean, I mean, like play like everything, hustle, every, like like no no breaks, no minute off. If they play a perfect game, yeah, because like even they the first win. half yesterday, Cam, NC State was in that game. Uh, they pulled away in the second half, but like they let NC State stay in for way too long. They did. They did, but hey, Purdue got it done in the end, and that's what they, they they're going to try. Problem is, Connecticut's got too much depth on their team. Yeah. They're well coached. Hurley's an animal, eh, Drew? Like, imagine playing for this guy. He's like the Mandelbaums from Seinfeld. He's like, we only won by 20. You guys should have beat this team by 45. You know, he's out there in the weight room. And the thing is, he's never satisfied, and that's dangerous. That's how you win. He'll call a timeout when like when, when the other team scores like three baskets. They're like, ah, yeah, enough. Like, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? He's amazing. Uh, yeah, he's what Coach K thinks he is, Cam. That's what uh, that's what he is. Um, all right, so we're both on Connecticut to win, but Purdue to cover. Cam's going to New York. If you have any suggestions for restaurants that Cam should up, pizza slices Cam should try, anything you want Cam to do while he's in New York, let him know on Twitter, on in the comments on YouTube, or, whatever. Yeah, or, or, or Drew, even on you, and you can text me because you do, uh, you're do. you more on a lot more that's platforms true. than I am. So send them to Drew, but don't over flood his mailbox. He does have children and diaper duty. And it's but all good. If, he, if you send me a few, Drew, Cam, I'm what's in. your what's your go-to spot in New York? You've been there before, right? Actually, it's a place right down the street from Sports Grid. Marenzi told me about it. It's the craziest bar. It's a West Virginia Mountaineers supporter bar and a Minnesota Vikings bar. Why you is there a West Virginia bar in New York? Well, you know what I know what I what, but when he told me that, you know what the hamster in my wheel said? Those are two of the biggest partying like West Virginia animals. Those mm. guys drink like kegs when they wake up in the morning true. and That's Minnesota Vikings and people in Minnesota, what do they do? They work hard, drink hard and party. Bar was amazing. We had a great time there. So that's where I go. 
Don't What's you, it called? I'm not one of the. Uh, I forget the name of it. Oh, oh it's, it's got an Irish name, like old Han- Hannah Hands or like something oh, okay. weird. It's right down the street. Uh, okay, I'll figure it out. I'll text you. All right, sounds so. good. Uh, and then best, there's, I mean, there's a thousand best pizza slices in New York, but I want you to come back next week and tell us what the best pizza slice in New York is. That's your assignment from us. It's funny. People in New York really like it thin, right? Like they're the deep they like dish the fold these. They fold it. Yeah, like the, yeah. The, I, I fold. I, I actually, when I get a thin crust, I fold it too. But uh, I don't know. Sometimes I like that deep dish when I'm really no. hungry. But if it's I a, want a lasagna, I, I'll make a lasagna. Deep dish sucks. You know what? I'm actually deep dish gives you a lot of heartburn and mm-hmm. other things too. It's, there's too much grease in it. You right? can't pound a like I can pound a medium pizza in my face if it's regular pizza. A deep dish, you're not pounding a medium deep dish pizza. It's a good call. It's a meal. I order. I order Domino's like a a pan with like heavy toppings. The thing yeah. was heavier than like a brick. <laughs> like I like I, I'm like wow, this is like a weight. You're like, eating with a fork. So, you're eating the old Italian stuff. Yes, it was true. It was so thick, and I'm looking at the bottom I'm like. Wow, I can like squeeze it out and get like a bowl of uh, oil. Nothing I hate yeah. more when you look at your bottom of your pizza dough and it's like, got that like um, shiny, like uncooked dough like thing. And I'm like, oh, this is gross. Um, all right, Cam, yeah. get out of here. Go to the airport, make your flight, have a good time. Don't be uh, irresponsible. Win a bunch of money on the Masters. Hopefully, your guy holds tomorrow on the Valero. Hopefully, uh, UConn wins outright for you. Hopefully, you have a good week and then your plumbing is easily fixed and it's like it just comes, it's free. You know what? I- I, I'm not going to be mad, like, but isn't it funny how everything in your home breaks when you actually have a chance to win big money? Yep. Like, you never get the money where everything's under Cam, control. Every time anything. I've won big, I've had, like, shingle job. Oh, your car needs to be fixed. This, this thing job. be paid for. Yeah, yeah. It's just the- like, I never win money and go, hey, let's just go party. Like, everything. Now, I'm going to, if if this guy wins, and thank you for the plumber, but you know what? I need I need water in a house, and that's a very important thing. Ashke Patea, if you don't win this golf tournament, dude, I'm going to fly down and find out where you live, too. Get it done. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And we will see you next week. This has been Drew and Stu. Follow Drew at Producer Drew and Cam at Cam Stewart Live. May the winners be yours. And all of the best bets hit.